By the time Kevin made his way down into the subway station, there was no one else there but a solitary old man sitting on a bench, using his cane to help him sit up straight. Kevin squinted at the schedule on the wall. From behind, he heard a grizzled voice say, Whichever one you're waiting for, you're at the right station. They all stop here. Kevin turned around to see the old man watching him. Even the A6? he asked. They all stop here, repeated the stranger who appeared to be dressed far too warmly for the season. I can't believe the A6 stops here this late on a Tuesday. Young man, this station is a major transfer point and I've been taking these trains for many years. Believe me when I tell you, all the trains stop here. As if in answer, the sound of an approaching train came from deep within the tunnel. It sounded like it was coming too fast to stop. In fact, it sounded like it was running faster than subways usually do. It was only a moment before it went rushing past, but that wasn't the shocking part. All the cars were jet black, but it didn't look like they were painted. Just made that way. Every car was covered in the most incredibly horrific graffiti. Wild splashes of red paint decorated the windows. It was paint, wasn't it? The lighting inside was very dim. All the passengers were shadowy figures who stood, unmoving. None of them were seated. Kevin couldn't make out any of their features, so why did he feel like they were watching him? What the hell was that? Kevin demanded as the mysterious black train disappeared into the opposite tunnel. The old man hung his head, almost in shame. I'm sorry, I wasn't completely honest with you. There is actually one train that doesn't stop here, only one. Where does it go? Pray you never find out. Kevin stood in stunned silence before the old man added, By the way, if you're taking the A6, you need to be on platform 3. Kevin could barely grasp the word of thanks before walking quickly away. As he was leaving, he heard the man call after him. Also, he turned around to see the man fixing him with a steel gaze to let Kevin know the stranger was about to give him the most important warning he would ever hear in his life. The next time you see that train, it will stop. Don't get on. I bolted upright in bed, not sure what I expected to see, but knowing that something had startled me awake. Moonlight filtered in through the window as I shivered despite the unseasonable warm temperature. After a few moments, I heard it. A soft tapping of fingers against glass. Suddenly, I turned my head to the window, expecting to see some horrible creature lurking there with sharp fangs and terrible claws. But there was nothing. It wasn't even when to knock the branches against the window. Cautiously, I slid out of bed and looked out the window, feeling relieved to see that there was nothing outside. Just hearing things, I muttered, coming back to bed. I wasn't used to sleeping alone, but my partner was away on business. Surely, it was just the change in routine startling me. Moments before getting into the bed, I heard the tapping again, slightly louder this time. Less hesitant, I spun around, sandy blonde curls sticking to my suddenly sweaty brown. The window was clear. A still and empty sky allowed the full moon to illuminate the ground below, revealing no one or thing outside. This time, a loud banging behind me, like fists pounding on glass trying to escape. Against my better judgment, I crossed the bedroom to the bathroom, resting my head against the warm wooden door before pushing gently. A bit of moonlight spilled into the room. Nothing different or odd, nothing jumping out but I shivered again and lean it over to light the candle I knew would be to my left. The warm glow seemed much brighter than normal, 
and I jumped when I caught my reflection. It's just me. I trailed off as the me in the mirror raised its hand before flashing right fangs and shattering the glass. There is a video on YouTube named Mariana Mordengard Glasgow. If you search this, you will find nothing. The few times you find something, all you will see is a 20 second video of a man staring intently at you, expressionless, then grinning for the last 2 seconds. The background is undefined. This is the only part of the actual video. The full video lasts 2 minutes and was removed by YouTube after 153 people who viewed the video gouged out their eyes and mailed it to YouTube's main office in San Bruno. Said people had also committed suicide in various ways. It is not yet known how they managed to mail their eyes after gouging them out and the cryptic instructions they carved into their forearms has not yet been deciphered. YouTube will periodically put up the first 20 seconds of the video to quill suspicions so that people will not go looking for the real thing and upload it. The video itself was only viewed by one YouTube staff member who started screaming after 45 seconds. The man is under constant sedatives and is apparently unable to recall what he saw. The other people who were in the same room as him while he viewed it and turned off the video for him say that all they could hear was a high-pitched drilling sound. None of them dared to look at the screen. The person who uploaded the video was never found, the IP address being non-existent and the man on the video has never been identified.